I have a box of nickels. Hopefully it's circulated and we can hunt them. And, ooh, these do look circulated. A couple of them look older too. Very cool. Very cool. Well, let's get into these and hopefully find some really cool things in here. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. On roll number seven, and it looks like I have, uh, uh, I've got a repunch mint mark and it has an older look to it. And well, what is this right here? Oh, we got a find back here. Let's check out this one first. Um, this one is uh, just has an older look, has a Denver mint mark on the reverse right there. So let's take a look and see if this is an older one. 1954, very cool. That is our first find. And then there's one right here that I just noticed sticking out, 1958. How about that? This one is a Denver as well. Nice, nice. Um, I thought I saw one that had another older look to it, but I must have uh, been mistaken. So I'm not seeing anything else stand out. Two, two finds in uh, roll number seven, that is awesome. We've made it to roll number 12 and I've come across a 1956. Nice. That's a third find here. This one is a Philadelphia. Nice, nice. There's one I noticed that has a mint mark back here. So let's check that one out and see if it's a 64 or if it's an older one. Let's see what it is. 64. Oh, one find in that roll. Very cool. Roll 17, come across the 1948. Very cool. This one is from Philly. Nice. That is a 40s nickel. Our first one from the 40s. Roll number 20. I got a foreign here. Got a Canadian, it looks like. Yep, Canadian. 1983. It's a 1983 nickel from Canada. Cool. Boom. That is the first foreign find there. Nice. Okay, so just getting to roll 21. Um, I've got one here that kind of looks a little bit older. Figured let's uh, just take a look on camera. I'm just uh, getting towards it. And this one is a 1948. Nice. It's a Philly. Very cool. I think that's our second 48. Yep, there it is. Awesome. Got to roll 22, and we've got another find here. We have a 1946. Nice. 1946. This is a Philly. Very cool. That is another old nickel. Roll 23. I've got another rear face mint mark here. Figured let's take a look at it. It is a Denver. Denver 1948. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Very cool, it's another 48. Roll 34, and I've got another rear face and mint mark right here. Figured let's flip it and see, is it 60s or earlier? Ooh, 1953, that's a Denver. 1953 out of Denver, very cool. Roll 25, and I've got a 1956. I have run into Let's see, 1956, this one has a Denver Mint mark. Very cool. I'm on roll 36, and we've got a rear face of Mint mark. I think it's a S. It is an S. This is a San Francisco. This is going to be uh, at least a 50s or earlier. Let's see. Ooh, 1951. Very cool. That is a San Francisco 1951. Roll number 37, and as I was... Moving towards the end, I saw we had a 1940 date flashed out there. So I figured let's take a look. 1940 out of San Francisco. Nice. It's an early date. Jefferson with a mint mark. Very cool. That's the earliest one we found yet. Roll 38. 1954. Come across here. 
This one is Denver. Nice. Very cool find there. Hole 42. And I've got a 1959 here. I've come across. This one is a Denver. Nice. There we go. That is another find. Awesome. All right. Finishing up roll 43. Got a 2016 here. This one has a die chip in the last window on the Monticello building. This is a... Um, pe uh, people refer to these as a beehive die chip because they kind of look like there's a beehive on the side of the building. You can find them on the sides, either sides here. I found die chips in the O and on some of the letters down here as well on some of these. This is a 2016. Um... I think 2018s, 2020s are pretty common with the die chips, but I've seen them on pretty much all the teens here and there. It's a pretty interesting find. I do find some die chips every once in a while. Bowl 44, and we got a proof. Got a 1990 San Francisco. The only coins minted in San Francisco in 1990 were proofs. Um, this one is pretty circulated and dirty, um, but you can still see some of the mirrored fields and behind the details, um, the lettering and stuff there. Um, so, pretty cool find. Uh, even though it's damaged, it's still a proof. Pretty cool. 47, this box made me wait till the, near the end, but we got a fun find. We got a buffalo. This is a Old Buffalo Nickel does not have a mint mark down here, so that is a Philadelphia. Can we see the date? See a five. It's like a 25, 1925 out of Philly. Yeah, that looks like a 25. It is hard to see, but I see a two and I see a five. I'll double check that and make sure, but that is a really cool find. And I'll double check and make sure that there's no mint mark. I don't see one. But wow, 1925 Buffalo Nickel. Very cool. Awesome find. The box made me wait till three rolls to the end to find it. Three rolls left. Hopefully we find some more goodies. Well, that is it for the finds. Had a pretty good hunt with some pretty cool finds. We had eight from the 50s. Um, five from the 40s. Uh, one proof and it's pretty worn and circulated. Um, a, we have die chip here on this 2016, a Canadian 1983, and probably the, the best and fun find in my opinion is the 1925 Buffalo Nickel. Very cool. I'm going to check these against the album, see if any of these fill a spot. I did have uh, some uh, good variety on the uh, uh, mint marks on these so maybe we got some spot fills I do have a couple of other nickels up here to check as well so let me check the albums and I'll be right back with that and then we will uh, wrap up and say goodbye out of all the nickels I only have one that's going to go into books 1951 out of San Francisco will fill the spot had no other fills or upgrades for the three nickel albums as a bonus here um, this buffalo nickel I did not have in my personal album I'm not really collecting um, actively searching and collecting buffalo nickels, but as I do come across them, I'm putting them in this album. When I do uh, upgrade for um, buffalo, when I do start to actively do the buffalo nickels, I will probably upgrade the album from this folder to probably a dance co album or a Whitman, just depending on uh, what I can find and what the price is. And that is all for the books. Unfortunately, I did not have any um, nicer ones to add in and anywhere but the the one nickel that got filled, the 51S. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, helps me out. Drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought. Hitting that subscribe button, like button, and dropping a comment, watching the video. That's all free, um, and I do thank you for that. And just as a quick aside, I did uh, reach the limit where I could offer memberships. Um, and if you're interested, feel free to click on that uh, link and check it out. And let me know if you have any feedback for that or for any of the nickels that I found or the sun. I definitely appreciate all of it. All right, well, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.
and a very special thank you to my channel members. Thank you very much to everyone who is supporting the channel going above and beyond. Link below if you're interested in checking out the rewards you get for signing up. Thank you very much.